solid form of water. It freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius, and 270 degrees Kelvin. There's something special about ice. The solid form of water has more volume than the liquid form, which is unique to this exact substance. There are three states of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. To change state of matter, you either add or take away energy to the substance. We're going to turn ice into liquid water. Here, we have a lot of ice. And here, we have a heat source. Heat is a source of energy. So when we combine the two, you can see the effect. A unique fact is that the temperature stays the same, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, yada yada, until the ice is completely melted, then it can increase in temperature. Liquid is the middle state of matter. Solid, liquid, gas. Solid water turns to liquid water at zero degrees Celsius. From zero to 100 degrees Celsius, H2O is still liquid water. You can change that by either taking away some energy, such as putting it in a freezer which has refrigerants, which take away energy, or adding a heat source, like a stove. As you can see, the liquid water is turning into water vapor. Now, liquid water always has a small amount of continuous vapor coming off of it, but then going back into it via equilibrium. However, this does not have equilibrium, as it is all going out and none is coming back in. This process will go on until all of the liquid water has been turned into water vapor. Now, once it hits 100 degrees Celsius, it'll start to boil. Boiling is the mass or rapid change of what liquid into gas. As you can see, it is going much quicker than before. As we take away the heat, it starts to cool down and goes from boiling back to slowly going to just water. But as you can see, there is still water vapor forming. Now, if we completely remove it from the heat, you can see how it will slow down faster. It is no longer boiling, yet vapor still continues to come off. 